In this video, we will be demonstrating how to properly set up an Imperial Systems C-Max cartridge collector. As a disclaimer, Imperial Systems is not responsible for improper installation or damages that may occur from a self-installation. Only trained professionals should be doing any electrical work or plumbing that is required for installing a C-Max cartridge collector. Remove the pipe plug from the end of the air header tank and connect the compressed air supply line. Use a thread sealant on all compressed air connections. Install a customer supplied regulator with gauge, filter, and automatic condensate valve in the compressed air supply line. Test all compressed air connections for leaks. All compressed air components must be sized to meet maximum system requirements of 15 to 40 SCFM at 80 PSI. The compressed air supply must be oil and moisture free. Contamination in the compressed air used to clean filters will result in poor cleaning, reduced filter life, cleaning valve failure, and poor collector performance. Any wiring on the CMAX should be done by a trained professional. The outputs on the control panel should be wired to the solenoids in the pilot valve enclosure. The fan also needs appropriately wired to the control panel. For demonstration purposes, the control panel is mounted on the side of the C-Max. Normally, the control panel would be in a separate location from the C-Max due to vibration. The master controller can be programmed after removing the faceplate. The display by default will show the pressure in inches of water column if the pressure module is installed. Last output is the last solenoid output available in the system. Time off is the time the C-Max waits between pulses and seconds. Time on is the length of a pulse in milliseconds. The high limit is recommended to be set to 2.5. The low limit is recommended to be set to 1.5. High alarm is recommended to be set to 5.0, while the low alarm is recommended to be set to 0. Cycle delay by default should be at 0. Downtime cycles set to 0. Auto alarm reset is set to 5 seconds. Return to the process setting, press alarm reset and the C-Max will be in run mode. The selector switch on the side of the control panel should be set to on demand. Motor rotations should be checked that they are rotating in the correct direction. This can be accomplished by having an electrician bump start the motor and observing to see the direction the motor is spinning. There are rotation arrows on the fan and airlock if equipped to show the appropriate rotation direction. The electrician should check the amperage of the fan on startup. The damper on the fan mounted to the C-Max cartridge collector should be adjusted as to provide appropriate airflow without causing the fan to overamp. By default, it is recommended to set the damper to be three quarters open. From here, the damper can be adjusted to achieve the desired airflow. Closing the damper on the fan will reduce the amps on the fan motor. The damper can be adjusted after the filters are seasoned. If you have any questions about installing a C-Max, or if you want Imperial Systems to install the C-Max for you, feel free to contact us.